Guys, today you're doing trigonometry, which is actually really, really easy. Um, all of these that you need are on page 656, okay? And they are sine, cosine, and tangent. All that means is the ratio, it's a ratio of given measurements based on an angle. Okay, so in my triangle, I have angle 1, which is missing. I have a side of 5. 7 and 10. And all you need to know is sine is the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse. So that means opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is next door. So if I'm looking at angle 1, 7 over 10. And tangent is the one that I always forget is opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. Now these change if you look at different angles. For example, if you miss this, if you're missing this angle, okay, opposite over adjacent or adjacent over hypotenuse. All that's, that's all that we're doing today. So let's do that for this triangle. So we have angle one up here in the corner. Sorry, my angle one is a little messed up. And let's find the sine of angle one. So that would be opposite, which would be five over 10. The cosine of that would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent would be seven over 10. And lastly, the tangent of that would be opposite over adjacent. That's all you're doing today for your practice. Okay? Pretty simple. If you have questions, I know this is brand new territory. Um, I'm going to try to have a Google Hangout at some point next week, and we can talk about this or other topics that you might be confusing. But today's practice is only four problems. I don't even need it submitted. Um, practice is all you got to do. Okay? Um, questions though, I'll try to stay by my computer as much as I can.